and we're back for another episode. Um, I spent the time yesterday to actually um, level my bard up into level 43, only doing fates. So I'm right now in um, Pure for Central Highlands, and the fates were in these sort of areas, this region of the map that we stayed in. And there was also like a few groups who would basically just say, you know, fate farming group looking for members. And so I did that for about three or four hours um, last night. And I earned a three full levels out of it, which is crazy because every single fate gave me 10,000 experience. And some of them actually gave 20,000, the bigger ones. And um, the good thing as well about fate rewards is that it doesn't use up your rest of the XP. So as you can see, my rest of the XP bar is still there, even though I did three levels yesterday. So it's a good idea when you're level 36, 37-ish to start grinding fates in Kyorfis. And then I've been told that if I, once you hit level 45, that um, Northern Fanalan or Modona are a good place to do fates. So, but anyway, so last time we were doing the story, um, I had to cut the episode a little bit short because I got to this um, quest giver and he required level 38 but now I'm level 43 so hopefully it will be um, you know I'll be able to do a, a few more quests before hitting a level cap again so anyway as usual hello from me hello from Mifri so anyway so let's continue the story and we'll see where we go to next so, Lord uh, Harchfant is concerned for Lord Frankel's well-being. So, let's see these rewards. So, now I am noticeably higher, but none of them are for Archer anyway, so I guess I'll get one for, like, maybe I'll get the Lancer one. Accept. Well, he's asked us to look for um, Lord Francel near the Steel Vigil, which is looking at the map right here. And I, I knew that already because I did so many fates there yesterday. So, let's go. It really is fun doing fates here. So what people tend to do, they will stay in this town, this uh, camp Dragonhead, and then once one of these fates in this region are spawned, then everyone here will charge towards it so um, and then they all go down really quickly everyone gets tons of experience points and it's it's all good fun good progress and as I said yesterday just doing it I earned as you can see nearly 18,000 seals which for three hours work I think is very very good so oh so we have two phase here one there and one there and that's it so that's that's all people I was doing yesterday it's just going from fate to fate but for today we're going to be concentrating on the story. Um, at level 44 I'll be able to accept my next quest for the Grand Company. So it's been a long time since um, I joined the Grand Company and it said oh the next quest will be level 44 but um, we're now almost there already so. So here is Francel. Okay so now we have to kill this guy. And Hopefully the next few cuts will be quite straightforward because I am a good five levels higher than I was last time, so... Okay, so that's that done. So I guess I have to talk to him again. Oh, so now it says aid three of the knights. So let's see where these knights are. Well, they're still telling me to stay in this region, so... If I look around, maybe I'll find where these knights are.
There's one. I got interrupted, so I had to do it again. So, yeah, as you can see, people are shouting for groups for fates, but also for the relic quest to defeat Shamara, so it does feel like a good zone to be in, that's for sure. It feels like we're finally making progress, if you know what I mean. That's one, two more. I guess the other one is the third one's gonna be hidden behind one of the other walls. I'll try not to aggro these monsters. It's a very small region, as that's why I'm surprised it's taking me so long to find each one. There he is. Or she, I should say. So as a reminder from last time, um, the reason we're helping uh, the various lords of this area is just so between the three of them we'll be able to find out if anyone knows where the Enterprise is. Okay, so now we go straight back to uh, Horch Fan. So I will be covering the Grand Company quests in a separate um, episode and I'll also be covering how to get the um, Bard Artifact gear as part of one of the quest Let's Plays. So I am going to keep each element separated and I will mark them properly on the video. I just I don't want to make some long video with it, which is a mix and match of everything otherwise it might be difficult to follow the series especially if you're only interested in one aspect. And hopefully it will work well for me, for my own organization, and for the viewers as well. So I'm going to take the Dragoon one. Or I guess, yeah, it's Dragoon by then. Okay, next quest. It says, Lord Harchfant suspects that someone is conspiring against Lord Francel. So, I've already got better than this bow. Yeah, maybe I'll go for White Mage in the next one. So now we're trying to work out, um, you know, where the conspiracy is. Uh, so it's funny, these guys are doing squats just like um, Jack did in Crisis Core. If you haven't played it, Crisis Core is the prequel to Final Fantasy 7 and it was released on PSP uh, a few years ago. And it is a really fun game, highly recommended, especially if you're a fan of Final Fantasy 7. And always, whenever um, Jack had a spare moment, he would be doing squats, so it just reminded me of that. There you go, fake group looking for members, they need one more. And it's good when you're in a group, because it means all of your contributions help you get gold medals, and also you can use limit breaks, so there is more than one reason to to do it. And also, if you have a healer in the group, they'll keep you alive. 
So don't be shy to join fate farming groups, that's for sure. Okay, so now we need to go and talk to the porter. So, um, as time passes in this game, it seems you learn how to read the text quicker and quicker and quicker. So, And uh, the other advantage of playing an online MMO is it teaches you how to type incredibly quickly as well. So I've become extremely quick at reading and a touch typer just because I've been playing games for so long. So it's not all... Uh, a waste of time, as some people like to say. Okay, let's talk to the porter. searching these packages. Okay, so basically the porter is saying that they wouldn't be responsible, they wouldn't have let you search the bags if they were, so um, we're trying to work out who the possible traitor is. Lord Harchford needs your help to clear Lord Francel's name. Okay, so now we need to talk to someone called Bridgie. There they are. And back to Hartford. It's when you're playing detective, that's all you have to do is just keep asking and asking and asking and eventually find out the truth. Okay, so they've obviously they've taken Francel from what they're saying, so now I need to go and see um Al Lynette to um see if we can help him. If you like my videos feel free to leave feedback, comment, subscribe, uh, tell your friends about it. If you're trying to get your friends interested in the game, then maybe my videos can help you make a case of why and how awesome it is. You can show them the gameplay, the graphics, you can show them everything. Okay, so I guess this is now a fight. And you can tell that just because of the, the aura, which you, we guess we know, we know that from a long time ago now. 
So if you're above 42 it will be synced, which is great because I'm actually 43, so it means I will be the maximum level for this fight, rather than the minimum. Kill the small target first. Get it out quicker. And remember, as an archer, we have the advantage that we just don't have to stand still. Really have to move, he's not doing that much damage. I find it funny. I changed my key bindings a bit to have F, G, V, and X at the, um, the top here, as you can see. Don't forget, as an uh, bard, if you use barrage, then it will like triple your personal attack. Oh, that's not good. More monsters listed here. Please do heal you.
Okay, so we're now done here. So now we need to head straight back to him in uh, Camp um, Dragonhead. I want thing to know as well that in this zone, when you're killing monsters and things like that, you actually earn um, completely the wrong way. You, you actually earn crystals rather than shards. So you can see how many you have. You go to your inventory, you click on this button here, the fifth one. It's a crystal shape. And then you can see how many of each. So you can see I've got a huge number of shards, but not as many crystals and even less clusters. So um, they're, they are used for crafting at, at higher levels. So the more the better. But it's nice that we've reached a level where we can actually start getting uh, crystals rather than just millions of extra shards. Okay, next quest. So I said, Lord Archfant, Font, I guess, I would like to introduce you to his witness. Okay, so might have someone who knows where the Enterprise is. And I can see a new quest appeared all of a sudden, so I'll go check that out later. So now we have to go to the, um, you know, the observ observatorium in order to find the log, um, the astroscope, a astroscope log. So it's more like basically just the log of the sky to see what they found and at that time. And he's even told us which one as well. Thankfully everything in the zone is not that far apart. It is a huge zone, but you shouldn't be traveling from point to point anything longer than like three minutes. Maybe a bit longer, but yeah. Okay, another fate there, but save that for another time. I'm guessing again we're gonna have to go up all of those stairs. And as before we'll stay on the mount just because we can. I don't know if they're gonna patch it later but might as well take advantage while it's still here. Ah oh, crap. It was bound to happen eventually wasn't it? to show it to an astrologer so I don't know if it's upstairs or downstairs. Let's quickly check up so we don't have to come back up. Okay, I guess not. So Oh, it's not even in this camp, it's actually had the other one. Uh, one thing to know is that 
Um, if you fall and you're not in combat, you will never die. You'll land with one HP uh, if you fall from a good enough height. But if you are in combat when you fall, then you will die. It's just something to know when you're traveling around the world. Yep, just want to find the Enterprise and we will see what Sid wants to do next. the log that we just got from the observatorium. Okay, so the log is actually called the final flight of the Enterprise, which is uh, convenient. It says volume 6 of um, astrocope readings taken at the first disastrial observatorium of uh, no, sorry, the Castrial Observatorium of Ethereal and Astrological Phenomena in the year 1572 of the Sixth Astral Era. So, I believe we're now in the Seventh Umbral Era, given that the calamity happened five years ago. So they usually say that moving between ages of like Astral and Umbral er eras, there usually is some significant event to mark it. Okay, so the ship landed near the stone vigil, so I guess we have to go there next. Okay, we need to talk to um, Harch Font then first. Okay, so we're now um, we need to talk to Francel again, and then we will head towards um, Stone Vigil, I believe. And I think Stone Vigil, yeah, is right there. So I'm not sure if that means it's actually going to be the next dungeon, but I guess we'll find out. So I hope today I'm able to reach 45 and then I can do the um, the first part of the artifact gear. It would be nice to actually have some sort of guide online that clearly says to get barred artifact gear you do exactly this. You know, that, that's something I've been looking for. So I guess I'll just have to make it myself. to talk to uh, Brunadier and get his permission in order to go into the Stone Vigil and that is the third one of these towns. So, so now the first two are working together well in order to help us get to the third, which is good. It's always better having friends than not. And my guild is recovering nicely because um, when you do quests at higher level you obviously start earning the guild quicker and quicker. So 
I'm hoping as well over the weekend that I'll be able to finish all my professions to 25 before I decide what to do next. Uh, when I do that, then I will be making a second Let's Play talking a bit more advanced techniques for crafting, at least up to 25. But there is uh, a f quite a few things I've noticed while leveling everything to, uh, to between 15 and 20 that is of use. One thing I've been told actually is that someone in the link has already leveled fishing from pretty much level 1 to 50 since uh, A Realm Reborn started. So he said at the higher levels you do earn a huge amount of experience per fish. Like it might be as high as 5,000 EXP. So he was saying that if you just stick to it a few hours, because he was doing it sort of like 8 to 10 hours a day and it took him maybe a week I suppose to hit 50 so that's roughly how much time you will need doing it probably 60 70 hours of solid fishing which is not that bad I mean when you consider it is an online MMO these games are designed to be completed over many years that you're not supposed to finish them in a week so he did it extremely very very well to um, get it all done in one sitting I will look at it eventually. I just, uh, I, I'm just having too much fun doing the story and other things at the moment. Okay, here he is, Brunadier. here. So yes, I would, I would like to talk to Lord Drillmont, please. Thank you. Okay, so he's basically saying not in a million years, but then I have the letter from the two other lords, so hopefully that will sway him. Okay, so Sir Brunadier seems ill-inclined to help you. So he's probably going to do like the other ones did, and they say, I'll help you once you've done some things for me. So, I guess as well he can't be bothered to do anything himself, so we can just uh, talk to someone else who might help us. It's in this building. And it is. There you go. It's uh, our boss. Okay, so she's recommending I talk to someone in the infirmary upstairs before um, I show the letters to them and then they might be able to help me. So I think I have to go this way, outside the building. Okay, not on the ground floor, so up the stairs. Here they are. says speak with Gordon O. I guess they don't need to be schooled in how to do things. They know how to do things, they just uh, they don't want to put in any effort. Of course, they'll appreciate it very much if I go to Stone Vigil and clean it out. Okay, and now back to... Well, not back to actually, we need to talk to Drillmont, so I'm assuming it's upstairs.
Hopefully Drillmont will actually care about these. Ah, oh, Sid is here, so I guess he wants his own ship back. He's suspecting that we have ill intention because we just happen to show up now when they're about to take Stone Vigil. Ah, uh -huh, there it is. So it's important to always look around so you see where the next quest is, just so you don't panic. Same as before, we have to do something in order to earn the respect. Cool, so now I need to go and kill five feral crocs. Which makes sense, I guess the people in this area have the same way of doing things. Uh, there's a quest there I'll need to do another time. Ah, this is... Yeah, so there is other quests with the meteor symbol, so it's a good idea to do them all. So it says, Nivy is hoping you can, um, that you continue to ignore her presence. Okay. Okay, so we need to search for a lost letter, which we're going to do right here. And let's see what... Um, Haste Fort has to say. So, uh, uh, or oh, has to Fort is eyeing you with interest. Okay. I'm going to quickly hit the recommendations tab just to see if there's any other quests. Oh, well, there's loads of them in the area, so let's see, Fractual. Okay, so it is sort of linking to me the ones I already have, so that's good. Quickly check the map. So I've obviously earned a lot more quests in this area, which is nice, so hopefully that will... If I don't hit 44 after this initial quest line, then hopefully it'll help me hit 44 after. Oh, which wrong entrance. Wow, oh, just look at the graphics. It's always amazing. How oh, did I take the wrong exit again? It's been a long day. So 
Tell you what, I'll go to this one first, and that one, then that one. Um, over a quarter to 44 now. You notice sometimes when you have these sort of crazy symbols and the, the monster's just not taking much damage at all. Then check for a quest item like this one because it might help you um, get it down. Let's see if it dies quick enough. Yeah, you see now I'm doing full damage to it, so um, until you use the quest item, it would have taken an extremely long time to get it down, even at all. I probably would have died before I got it down if I just kept attacking it. But that's the best time. So I'll get all three quests done and then I'll go back. I guess you're sort of, uh, if you've been watching all my videos to this point, you're used to this style of gameplay. I don't think there's anything special about it. I think everyone should do the same thing, really. So let's see, all by ourselves, it says search for the lost letter. So can I see a lost letter anyway? There it is. Thankfully marked with... Um, white text. I'm guessing when I pick it up it's going to be a fight. There we go. That's usually what the sort of circular purple sort of aura around it means, is that when you enter it you can have a fight to do. Oh, just so you know, um, in this area, Behemoth's Dominion is where the Behemoth of Fate will spawn. Apparently it's been spawning about once a day, so... And you will see it marked on the map when he's up, so it won't be a big mystery or anything. And I believe you get uh, Behemoth um, horns when you defeat him. The higher the metal, the more horns you get, and you can use that to exchange for some item, but I don't know what that item is. I guess I'll cover that in another video in the, in the distant future. Oh, you know, me. Not, not when I, not that distant, but you know. I guess for these five I will use my Chocobo Companion, just for the sake of it. So there's a lot of people here, so I guess there's, um, it might even take a while to get five, maybe. Because I think people need these same monsters just for their um, hunter logs as well, so 
I guess they're going to be well farmed. So there is some kind of far away, so if you can't find any around there, then just go a bit more south and you'll find more. And you can tell because of these mini meteor symbols that are all, all over the mini map. Yeah, maybe that's too far south, so I'll head back up north again. Need two more. Yeah, that's one there. I just need to, need it to reset and then kill it. Surprised how little of these monsters there are. Here's one. another Geisel Green. They're quite cheap, they're like 20 to 30 gil each from the right vendor, so... Not the end of the world. It does actually count as a party member when you have the Chocobo Companion, so... Um, you can't have, say, eight players in your full party and then eight chocobos as well. It doesn't work like that. And thankfully the mounts do make the zone seem a lot smaller than they are. Almost there.
I am basically just completely hooked on this game. And I just don't know any other game which is quite as beautiful, quite as polished, quite as satisfying for me. And all the rewards you get, even like you see here, the Unicorn Mount, every little reward seems so worth it. So she basically just said, like, oh, so you killed the crocodiles? Meh. But whatever, I'll let, I'll let them know. upstairs. Funny that I forgot already. Actually, no, if I'm going to go all the way up, but we'll see. Wow, it goes even higher than that. Cool. So this is the bell. I don't know if it's going to be used for anything later on. So let's head back down again. Might as well sprint. So the food, yeah, obviously did help. So it says offer a steak to um, Sonota. So let's do that now. Yep, 
Because the idea is, the more friendly you are to people, the more likely they are to help you. Let's talk to him. Again, always remember to click the Meteor symbol and then you carry on the quest as you should. So it says, Sid would like to furnish the infirmary with a new Alan pick. I don't even know what that is. So, someone that has his Titan pet in the way, never mind. need to kill ice sprites and get their cores, so let's do that now. And I'm guessing from what they said, eventually you have to go through Stone Vigil and um, get the Enterprise back. Hopefully I will record that with a Distant World group. And remember that these can spawn a long way away from the indicated area, so don't be scared to attack them if you see them. Okay, one down, five to go. curious what it's going to be like doing DPS at 50 when you have all like the relic weapon and so on, how it compared to. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. As always just keep running if you don't want to spend time killing a certain monster and it will reset very Oh, 
Okay, so we now have our cores, so let's take it back to Sid and see what he'll do with them. Showing the icy course to Sid, so let's see what he has to say. So it seems every step of the way that this guy's trying to stand in front and block everything. I wonder if he's a traitor or something, if he's purposely doing it. Okay, so I will go for... I'll go for a caster ring, why not? Okay, next quest. So Sid is concerned about Inquisitor Gallia. to talk to the people. Let's go get the southern one first and then I'll come back. I'm well, surprised I haven't seen any DW members yet, but I'm sure I will. Okay, no one upstairs, so let's check downstairs. Hmm. 
Well, I guess I'll have to go to the other downstairs. Talking to um, Alphanod, is one of the twins from the beginning. Okay, let's go for the caster one for the sake of it. Okay, says Alphanod appears to be in deep thought. Based on what the people told us, we're now investigating certain allegations. I'm going to look for proof. Because the one that keeps trying to slow us down, we want to prove that he has other sinister motives. Okay, maybe I have to go down this cliff. Enter the fight while I have one HP, that's for sure. So someone else is doing this, so we'll see if any monsters spawn. Visitor's corpse buried underneath that ice mount. So, getting 
close to halfway to 44. I guess after this episode I will do all the quests in this area and I'll also do some more fates until 45. Then I'll be filming the um, how to get the first few bard artifact episodes. So this one that's been trying to slow us down this whole time, we've realised that he's not even who he says he is, so we have to try and work it out as quickly as we can. So um, Alphinode is determined to discover Inquisitor Gulliam's true identity. So. So the ultimate goal, of course, is always just to find the um, Enterprise, but, you know, we have to deal with these little things which come up in between. Just so there isn't someone constantly trying to slow us down. People doubt he's an imposter, for whatever reason. search outside. So hopefully we're getting closer and closer now to the next, um, let's say, big event, and then we can um, try and find the DW member and get on with it. They're taking the servers down in about four or five hours time for server maintenance, so they're always trying to improve the servers, make them quicker, expand capacity given the sheer volume of um, players at the moment. Okay, so we're going to go to Drillmont yet again to 
try and convince him. Hopefully he'll believe us this time. So now we're going to bring him to justice, so um, we can end his lies. Okay, so now we need to go all the way down there at the end of the zone. Should have taken long to get there. So I've got five more entries to go and then I would have finished all of my hunter log and archer, which I'm very happy about. Seems to get three of them from Western Lanosia, so Glowing, you know that that's a fight. So something I've noticed is that these last few quests, the level requirement for each quest has gone up and up and up and up, so... I hope we don't hit a dead end from level again so soon. Okay, so I'm assuming he's not going to be fighting the last one. Yeah. 
quite quickly, so I'm just gonna go for the fight method so I can map out the fight. Less damage I take, the more I can survive. just so he doesn't have trouble for the other NPC. I've actually been overly, overly cautious, but it's just so there isn't any moment where I need to panic. Obviously, he's kind of bad if he turned into a dragon, that's for sure. Finally. So again, um, by the length of this video, it just takes one to two hours to get to the next dungeon, so um, as I said, the game is fun that way, you just spend one or two hours getting from dungeon to dungeon, you don't have to spend, you know, days doing it. 
and oh just so you in case you didn't know that is actually Ishgard over there we're not allowed to go in it just yet but hopefully some point in the future I, I will film an episode in there I'm not actually 100% sure if it's even enabled in the game yet generally regardless what I do Okay, so Alphanode is eager to enter the Stone Vigil. Okay, so I need to talk to Drillmon and hopefully he'll give us access straight away. Okay, so now we need to go talk to uh, Nathalane at the entrance to the song vigil, so let's go. Stone Vigil. So um, what I'll do is, let me. See, I just want to check the level. So it's a level 41 dungeon, and it sinks from level 43, which means I'm already the maximum level for the dungeon. But what I'm going to do anyway is, I'm going to clear all these quests, hit 40, 44, I guess, and then hopefully the next episode we will be going straight through the Stone Vigil. So, thank you for watching. Very long episode as before, but at least now we're at the next dungeon. So, goodbye from me, goodbye from Mifri, and I will see you next time.